Some women claim the COVID vaccine has changed their menstrual cycle, but is this a legit side effect of the shot? Dr. Jesus Samaniego, Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology with Kelsey Siebold Clinic joins me live now. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Sally. Well, let's get right to it then. Can the COVID vaccine impact a woman's menstrual cycle? Well, there seems to be an association between the two. Uh, we've seen uh, patients describe to us a change in their menstrual cycle, sometimes heavier, sometimes a little bit more irregular. Um, and um, there was a big initiative by the National Institute of Child Health and um, Human Development that uh, created a grant for several institutions um, nationally to investigate this. This included um, Oregon Health and um, Science University, as well as Boston University, Harvard, John Hopkins in Michigan, uh, university, state university. And in there, they found that there was a slight variation in the menstrual cycle that happened um, in relation to the to the COVID vaccine. So I think it's a real phenomenon. Hmm. So was this a possible side effect of all three vaccines or was just one of them studied? They, they studied actually all three of them. Um, the majority of them were the Pfizer vaccine in this particular study. But what was good about this study was that they compared it to women that did not get the vaccine. And they found that the difference was very, very small. It was about a difference of about a day, a day longer, actually. Mm. And now this is a, um, as you look at a large group of women, this is what they saw. But in the individual case, we can see some bigger variations. Mm. But thankfully, but thankfully though, um, those variations are um, are transitory. In other words, they're not long lasting. There's no effect on fertility overall. Um, and in comparison to getting COVID, it's a, a much better and safer option. Yeah, a lot of people are still, you know, holding on to what doctors say are myths about the vaccine causing fertility issues. What do you say to women who who are still worried about that or are worried for their young girls? You know, we look at the menstrual cycle as almost a vital sign for women. In other words, when those things are working well, we're confident that their fertility system is working well as well. And um, in this particular case, we can be confident from this particular study that was published in the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology's Green Journal um, to show us and to demonstrate that indeed it is safe um, and does not affect fertility long term or short term. A slight change in the menstrual cycle is nothing to be alarmed about. That can be a, a normal thing throughout, you know, as we age, right? Uh, we're going to see those changes. Absolutely. And there's so many factors. There's stress. There's um, uh, um, changes in weight. There's changes in sleep-wake cycles that can affect the menstrual cycle. And so we see these variations all the time. Um, and so we shouldn't overthink it with regard to the, to the vaccine, to okay. the COVID vaccine. And, and finally, Doctor, should do you think changes to menstruation should be added as a possible minor side effect of the vaccine? Is that something that should be, you know, on the label? No, I think it should really be part of the discussion between the doctor and the patient getting the vaccine. And if they have any questions, I think they need to reach out to their healthcare provider for a little adv advice and discussion. You know, because I think that helps them put it into the context, the proper context. For, um, for the vaccination versus the infection. Okay, well, we've got Dr. Jesus Samaniego, Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology with Kelsey Siebold with some important information about the COVID vaccine and the menstrual cycle. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it, doctor. Thank you, Sally.